the unavoidable tyranny of experts, World Health Organization pandemic treaty. Probably the most serious threat to global freedom right now is the World Health Organization as it operates under the guise of global biosecurity. As the globalist cabal attempts to form a one world government, they've realized that using so-called health experts is the clearest path forward to taking away all sorts of freedoms and creating a surveillance state. Today, we're going to discuss how that will likely happen, how a group that at one time was supposedly dedicated to advising nations on health care can assume power over the nations and usher in a one world government. But first, a quick shout out to Stephen Welp, who researched this for us. The WHO, World Health Organization, has drafted a global, quote, Treaty on Pandemic Preparedness. Remember that name. This treaty would grant absolute power to the WHO over global biosecurity, such as the power to implement digital identities, health passports, mandatory vaccinations, travel restrictions, and even standardized medical care, and maybe more. When we reported on this treaty last June, we received our first channel ever. But the treaty did not pass last June, fortunately. So we imagine the punishment that we received as a channel from the powers that be was worth it for us doing our part. But this horrid treaty will most likely pass in 2023. That's our guess. With the third anniversary of the pandemic lockdowns looming in the next months, expect propaganda about this treaty to begin to escalate. The treaty is the trump card of the globalists, and they will pull out all stops to make it happen. The WHO already has binding rules known as the International Health Regulations back from 2005, which set out countries' obligations when diseases have the potential to cross borders. This treaty is the one they're going to revise with these rules. It will be those old rules on steroids. Bluntly, it will change your life. You see, with this treaty in place, all member nations will be subject to the WHO's dictates when it comes to pandemics. And as we already know, the Gates Foundation is already practicing for the next one. We reported on this in a previous video. A link is down in the description. The key point of this treaty from the globalist point of view is that the WHO's dictates will supersede any national plans to handle future pandemics. The WHO will be put in charge of every doctor, every national medical group, and every national institute like the CDC, etc. If it passes, it's absolute dictatorial power. And the leaders of our nations, unfortunately, have been put in place for just such a moment as this, to give that power to the globalists. Under this treaty, if the WHO says every person on the planet needs to have a health passport and digital identity to ensure their vaccine compliance, well, that's what every country will be forced to implement, even if their people have rejected such plans using free elections and democratic processes. The unelected globalist's plan is to strip you of your most basic rights and freedoms. It is a direct attack on the sovereignty of member states, and it's a direct attack on your body. And that is exactly why the globalists are planning to do this. It is their first step in acquiring power over all aspects of our lives and power over the nations. It's also a map forward of how they will likely take other rights away from us in the form of other treaties that they will likely pass in the very near future. Now, there's also reason to suspect, as we said, that the WHO intends to extend its sovereign leadership into the healthcare system of every nation, eventually implementing a universal or socialist-like healthcare system as part of the Great Reset, of course. 
WHO Director General Tedros has previously stated that his, quote, central priority, end of quote, as Director General of the WHO, is to push the world toward universal health coverage, just as the Economic Forum wants to push people toward a universal basic income. Digital ID, health passports, digital currency, etc., etc. And those who don't comply will be denied everything. It will be a perfect compliant state. No money, no health care, unless you comply. And considering the WHO changed its definition of pandemic, it can now call almost anything a pandemic. Did you know that? It removed the original definition to, quote, a worldwide epidemic of a disease, end of quote. Without the original specificity of severe illness that causes high morbidity. So it can be just any old disease. Anything could be made to fit the pandemic criteria the way they're writing it. And guess who's in charge of declaring the pandemic? That's right, the WHO and Director General Tedros. So we guarantee if this passes, the WHO will use its new powers once they're granted. Because they can. They can make anything a pandemic. They could also declare a global pandemic for non-infectious threats. Things like global warming. I can see that coming. Or diabetes or obesity. In these cases, imagine what they might force you to eat or not eat to help combat the, quote, emergency, as they claim we are in. These declarations would allow them to circumvent all laws in place right now to preserve our freedom and implement tyrannical measures. Things like lockdowns that were implemented in the COVID pandemic could be applied to obesity or global warming. Things like carbon taxes or limits, eating bugs, or maybe even age limits on health care. If you're older than 60, for instance, maybe they will say you aren't worth the expenditure of resources. All the stuff that you've seen on their agendas could become law in your nation. What are the chances of something like this eventually passing? Well, Even if it isn't in 2023, it likely will. How do I know that? Because mystery Babylon forming is inevitable. The Bible in Revelation 17, 18 says, A government is coming in the last days that reigns over the kings of the earth. That is exactly what this treaty will be the start of. Revelation 18, 23 tells us that this government's great ones or leaders are merchants. In our world, that means billionaires, and they will come to power by deceiving the nations with something the Bible calls pharmakia, or satanic pharmaceutical sorcery. Folks, that seems to be exactly what this treaty could be. We might be seeing Revelation 18.23 unfolding before our very eyes. And what is the result? What does the very next verse say? Revelation 18, 24. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and of saints and of all who have been slaughtered on the earth. The result of this world government coming to power is worldwide slaughter, both of the saved and the unsaved. We know the globalists desire a drop in world population. This treaty might be giving them the keys to achieve their goals. And remember, this world government comes to power prior to the rise of the beast. So if you are counting on being rescued via a rapture prior to the hard times coming, think again. Even the pre-tribulation rapture theory does not state that the rapture happens prior to the beast rising. This could easily all happen prior to the beginning of the 70th week of Daniel. And if you believe in some other rapture theory, well, of course, they don't believe the rescue happens before all the hard times either. So preparing yourself spiritually, emotionally, and physically for such a day is what you need to be doing right now because 2023 might likely be the year. 
But what about chemtrails, you know, that we see in the sky and the globalist scheme to block out the rays of the sun? <laughs> Could some crazy thing like that be part of the mandates of this new treaty? Yes. Click right here to keep watching and learn what Bill Gates and the American government have planned for you using chemtrails. Till then, this is Nelson, and I'll see you there.